So I got a question the other day, Harley, I've been watching the Tour de France, the 2012 Tour de France, and some of those boys look a bit too thin. They need a good feed. <laughs> well, the reality is that all of these riders are only going to maintain that super light weight for just this Tour de France, and then they'll go, up, go back up a bit. Why? Because when you do all that training and you're peaking up for the Tour de France, your weight's going to drop down, but it's not a sustainable weight. It's not a sustainable training volume. So... These people are always lightweight during the year, but the Tour de France, they drop right down a little bit extra. It's not because they're starving or anything, it's just because the training, all that training snowball effect builds up, drops your weight down, and after Tour de France, it goes back up another 10 15%. So it's just how it is. It's not a concern. Well, it would be a concern if the person's performance was suffering, which when you're doing well, that's why people train with power meters, so they can go, well, my power's good, my weight's down, my power's up, that's okay. If your weight went down and you couldn't put out the normal wattage that you normally could, then you know you're not eating enough or you're overtraining, etc. So training with power, definitely I recommend. I train with power, a power tap and it's the way to go. Power machines, man. Power meters is just where it's at. So here's some photos to show you that over the course of the years that cycling hasn't gotten slimmer. It's just always the way because cycling is all about power to weight. It's about being as skinny as you can with as much power as you can. That's why guys like, say, Cancellara, they'll get smoked in a time trial by like, someone like Bradley Wiggins or something like that when they're in good form. So, because they're lighter and they've got more power, watts per kilo, that's all that matters. That's why all the bikes are so lightweight, because it's watts per kilo when the road goes up. On the flat, it doesn't really matter as much, but it still matters, but when it goes up, it matters more. So, here's some pictures of the riders... You know, definitely too skinny by uh, society standards, but perfect weight for cycling standards. So if you look like a coat hanger, <laughs> like I do most of the time, that's good for a cyclist. Again, and isn't it funny when people say cardio makes you fat, carbohydrates make you fat? Isn't that fucking hilarious? Obviously, these guys... Something's going on here. If cardio makes you fat and carbohydrates make you fat, something's going on. If all the low-carb nonsense was true, you know, the don't do cardio because cardio makes you fat. Don't eat carbohydrates because carbohydrates make you fat. <laughs> what the fuck? 